Okay, so today we're gonna to be showing you how to create a like page, also known as a business page. So you can use either one, depending on who you talk to, people use different words. So the purpose of your business page or your like page is to expand your warm market or to tap into a cold market. Warm market being your personal family and friends, cold market being new people that you do not know and you want to make them become your warm market. So. One of the problems with people when they first start coaching is they start off gangbusters because they have a really strong warm market, but then they don't tap into their cold market. You need to be doing this from the beginning. Part of that is adding friends um, on a daily basis. You should be adding at least five friends per day. Don't worry about it. Karen from Kentucky has no idea who you are, so if she doesn't accept your friend request, it's not gonna hurt your feelings. I never quite understand that. So. To do this, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. So I'm just gonna share my screen here. I am going to go to Facebook. There's Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Hey. Uh, so first of all, here, I am going to go into my personal profile. And I am going to go over here. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Go into uh, this part right here. So you go to this little arrow drop down menu, create page. You're gonna create a page. This isn't necessarily as important as you might think. You can do local business, place, brand, product. Um, some people do public figure. You can do public figure. You can go into coach, name, Mike Fitzpatrick Fitness. Please don't be tricky with this. Don't make it complicated. Don't make some funky name like Soul to Soul Fitness um, as the name of your business page because people need to relate it back to you. Most top coaches will just have Jen Wall Fitness, Miguel Crasco Fitness, Jamie Fitzpatrick Fitness. Um, we use Fitzpatrick Family Fitness because it's both Angel and I. Keep it something sim simple so that it's relatable back to you. Okay, then get started. Now, pretty simple, add a cover. You've already hopefully watched Pick Monkey tutorial on how to make an awesome cover page. So it should be pretty straightforward for you. Um, again, please make sure that it is something that if you saw it on someone else's page, it's gonna make you wanna sign up with that person. So we'll just add a cover page. I'm gonna upload a photo, go to my desktop. I have one right here that I've done. There we go. You can usually move it around if you need to reposition it. Um, I'm gonna hit save. Then you can add a button if you'd like. This is something relatively new. Get in touch, you have diff different options. You can have them uh, send an email, a contact with a form. So let's just say send an email. What email would you like people to contact you with? Um, Fitzpatrick family fitness at gmail.com. You can do something simple like that, add a button, okay? Perfect, you've updated your send email button. Thank you, so send email. You can do other things as well, um, and I'll show you afterwards where once you click on this banner, this image, it'll take you to a write-up section where you can put forms, documents, things like that. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, the next thing you are going to want to do is you can add a profile picture. See, they kind of walk you through it down here. So normally when you add, you don't want your banner to show up, so you wanna add a profile picture so that when you're talking to somebody, that little picture icon shows up as you, as opposed to on your personal page, your profile picture shows up. So I'm just gonna put this picture up so that when you're in a conversation with someone, this is the image that will show up, okay? Again, you can drag to reposition it. You can zoom in if you wanted to. Let's do this, and we'll go save. Okay, so that is now the profile picture. Again, Facebook changes all the time. This is not going to be a little image that shows up over top of your banner. It's actually just gonna be the image that shows up when you talk to somebody. So that is that. 
We'll wait till it loads. Then you're gonna do a couple other things. You are going to add your short description of your page. Um, create a username for your page. Keep this simple, okay? Um, you could, I would just use your business page, something simple. Uh, I think we used Fitz Family Fitness for ours, so you can just use this. Because remember, this is going to show up, um, Oh yeah, because we've already used it fitness too. I'll just use something simple. So when you create that username, what it's going to do is, that's the address you're gonna use when you give people. So it's been created. So when you want someone to go to your business page, you're gonna, it, it will show up now as www.facebook.com backslash fits family fitness too. That way you can send somebody a link to go directly to your business page. So that's pretty straightforward there. Um, the next thing you're going to do is um, under about here, okay, you're going to want to fill this in with as much info as you can. Um, the more the better. Uh, make sure you put in your username. There's a few other things when you come down here uh, to things like awards until you get a little bit bigger, that's not going to work, but you may as well put it in. If you're an SC5 All-Star, if you're an SC5 Legend, anything like that, make sure you put that in. The more info, the better. So make sure you fill that part in as well. And then I'm going to go to do settings. So for settings, there's some things you want to do. Um, when you go into messaging, You'll notice sometimes when you're typing in Messenger, if you hit return, it sends. That drives me nuts. There's two options. You can hold shift down and hit return. That'll give you the space. Or you can just move that in this, in this form under your business when you're re responding to people. And that way when you hit return, it just does the space and you have to actually click on send. So that's something that, that we like to do. Um, you can also, uh, da, da, da. you can also stay responsive. So you can put a message in like this. So if someone says, Hey, I have a question. You can put in hi, so-and-so thanks for your message. We're not here right now, but we'll get back to you soon. You can put in a custom message in there saying, Hey, thanks for your message. I'm not here right now. Make sure you add me as a friend at www facebook.com backslash Mike Fitzpatrick dot health. Okay. And I will do my best to respond ASAP. Okay. Happy face. All right. So that's something you can do. The other nice thing about that is it will look to Facebook like you're actually responding quickly, which will get your response time up into the green. Um, some of you have seen that as well. So then we'll hit save there. Uh, some other things, yeah, that'll get your response time up quicker. So that's probably the, I don't, we don't send instant replies. Some people do if you're on vacation. Um, but that's probably one of the things that you're gonna wanna create there. Uh, as far as settings go, um, edit your page. So on edit your page, you are going to, you can determine what shows up first. For us, we like the posts to show up first, um, and then videos, and then photos, and then the about section comes next, okay? You can change those around, um, but generally that's how we like to have things show up first on our page, you can change them up yourself, but we recommend those first. Then we want to go into notifications. Notifications. There we are. Uh, make sure that they are all on. Let's see here. All, select all. Activity on, business and off. So yeah, so make sure it's on all. I'm just gonna go through here really quickly, make sure. 
Okay, so after that, you want to skip over to people and pages. Sorry, let's go back to settings. Settings. Yeah, sorry, here's the notifications. Um, yeah, make sure you wanna get a notification every time something comes off. Uh, make sure these are all on because you wanna get all notifications, whether it is somebody messaging you, whether you get a follower, whether you want, it, whether there's a comment. So you wanna make sure those are all on as far as notifications go. Um, people and other pages. Um, so you can look and see um, people who've liked your page. This is blank right now, but when you go on here, this will actually populate everybody who's liked your page. You can even look at people who follow your page um, and people who you may have banned from your page. So once you've started going, this is a great way. If you can't remember, you want to contact some people and connect with people who've liked your page, this is where you're going to go. Um, this is something interesting that is brand new. So preferred page audience, when you've set this up, you can have your page show to people who are in a similar demographic of you or people who are interested in the same likes as you. So let's go for this. It's totally up to you what you want to do, but I would do Canada, United States, and any other thing you might want to do, I would highly recommend you do things like United Kingdom, maybe Australia. And let's just for the heck of it, go New Zealand, any other uh, English speaking country. So that's when you can do, say your age limit. One thing I always try to do is maybe 10 years below, 10 years up unless you're really old like me, you might want to do 20 years below. Um, generally, you're not getting too many coaches below the age of 24, however we do. So if you're younger, you might want to do younger. I would do say 24 to 50 is a great range for myself. And then gender do all interests. Again, this is where you're going to want to, don't want to be too specific, but you might want to put in a broad range of interests you like. So if you're like entrepreneurship, you can put entrepreneurship um, right there. And it even gives you off to the right some of the, um, the range of people that have that interest. So you don't wanna make them too small, but you wanna make them big enough so that it will show to specific people. Entrepreneurship, and we're gonna get into this later, entrepreneurship would be a level one interest. If you wanna break it down even further, you might do something like Jim Rohn, who might be a level two, and you can see there it's gone from you know, 190 million down to two million. So fill that up if you want with different people, um, depending on, and it also gives you options. So if you, let's say we're gonna go into motivational speakers, Dale Carnegie, uh, John C. Maxwell, Zig Ziglar. So you can start getting a population of people so that Facebook can start showing this um, as suggestions for people who may be looking at other pages. After that, you can put in languages. It's up to you. This isn't a big deal. Most of you probably didn't put that you speak English when you set up your profile, but if you want to, you can go English, and we usually just do all. Um, and then there's your estimated, estimated population, and then hit save. Instagram ads, this is something that some of you have been using, but you wanna make sure if you have an Instagram account, you do add your account. I'm not gonna add mine right now, but most of you have an existing account. And this is something that we definitely will be going into uh, further as you go along. But so as not to confuse you, we're not gonna do too much, but if you do have an Instagram uh, account, please set it up right here. Um, it's going to allow you to run ads both on Facebook and Instagram. And what it will also do is it will compress and compile all your messages from Instagram and Facebook into one section. So that you definitely want to do. Um, and publishing tools up here is the last section. 
and publishing tools, publish posts. So this will allow you basically to see published posts, any of your scheduled posts. This is more for you to view. Um, uh, if it is your business page, remember you are allowed to schedule posts, unlike your personal page. So it will let you see if you have any scheduled posts, any published actual posts, um, or some drafts that you might be working on. So that's another great place to do this. Now that's the basics for your page. It is fairly simple, um, but it is key because it's going to allow you to tap into your cold market and um, expand your warm market by boosting posts, which we will get into, and by purchasing and creating more likes so that your page gets seen by more people. If you have any more questions, contact your upline, but that is a very, very brief way to set up your page. One thing I recommend um, with all of these is when you have this video going, have this open on one page and have your actual Facebook page on another screen. You're gonna to wanna to minimize it like this, so you have half of it set up watching this video, and the other half of the page will be your actual video that you're creating on your page, okay? So hopefully that made sense to you. If you have any questions, again, contact your upline, but that is how to set up your like page basics, um, but keep up to date because Facebook changes, and hopefully we'll be giving you more updates as they become available. All right, thank you.